Have you ever wanted to know the area as well as the length of curves in Affinity Designer? With version two, you can now do that using this tool, the area tool, and just beneath the measure tool, just there. As soon as you select it, you've got a number of options along here. Really useful, perimeter mode, as well as drawing scale, and I'll go through those in a sec. Tells you number of objects selected, and the key thing is the objects need to be selected to work with this tool. So with that, four objects, if you just hover over any of the objects, so I hover over there, you can, says the area. Hover over the edge, and it will tell you the length all the way around. Again, go here, it tells you the length. Obviously there's no area, so it doesn't tell you that. Area, and again, hover over the edge there, and it will tell you the length. And go over this one, area, and again, length there. It's all the way around. And the key thing is perimeter mode. If you go up here, you've got here, full edges, it's telling you the entire information. If I just select one object, so select ellipse. Now you can't use this tool, the area tool, to select objects. So you have to do it with the layers panel, very useful. So ellipse, and you can see now area, and you can see length, and it will tell you, that's it, perimeter. If I select another object, so select this one, and that, so I've got two selected, it will now be area for the whole of this and that. So it builds it up. The perimeter information is the entire, all the information together. The length there is just for that object. That's the key thing. And likewise, if I select them all, it will tell you the perimeter for the whole lot, the area for the whole lot. And you'll see it's in points. It's in points because the document's set in points. If it was in centimeters, it will be in centimeters. In inches, it will be in inches. So you can go and select, let's select another one. Now I'm gonna go with a rectangle. Some of these paths, the next feature has really of no use, but some where they've got segments that you can use or cusp segments, as it says there. I didn't know what that was, I must admit. I looked at it, I thought, I have no idea. Looked up the help. There doesn't seem to be any mention about that. And this is where it comes useful because you've got that one selected now. If I hover over here and I can see now, you've got here the length and it will tell you 276. That's the length for that line, that segment, just there. If I go with this one, you now see that part is 194. It will tell you it's 942 all the way around. But you can also now just click on there. And as you click on it, you'll notice what happens. The perimeter changes. If I click on there and click on that one, now I've just got two left now, it's reduced to 471. That's obviously 924 divided by two, 471. It's just gone and just told you, and now just for there. So you can see one set, one line, one part of this is selected and it's 276. It now says the perimeter for this is 276. That's all that's selected. So if I select it again, go around, select all of those, the outline's 942 and again, it's put it back to perimeter 942. Now this object, so you can do exactly the same with this object. You can select different segments as well. So you just go around it, and deselect it or select it. You can turn them on or turn it off and it will update the perimeter there. But it will keep exactly the same information for the length and outline. That doesn't change. It doesn't make any difference. That is not building up the information. This perimeter is the only one that's giving the information for all these selected around here. Also what you can do, you've got drawing scale. So say you're working on a massive building or something, or maybe you're working on a microscopic scale. You can go say one, 1,000. I don't know, I'm just putting a value in. So one to 1,000. Now you'll notice, now again, this is not selected. Let's just go for the ellipse. That's quite an easy one. Just go to the ellipse and now it will tell you the area is quite large. It's boom, a billion or so, a billion odd points squared. Also you can hover over this one. So if I select this curve, Again, this is the line, needs to be selected. If I hover over here, it will tell me the length is now quite a lot, 315,000. And that's the drawing scale. And you can do the opposite. You can put it to a thousand, I don't know, one to 100, 100 to one, whatever. You can do a number of different scales. Do that, and as you do it, you notice then it's 3.2. Obviously the area there, because there's still no area, but it's now reduced it down to 3.2 points. That's a really useful feature, this drawing scale, should not be ignored. So 
Oh, I was going to say file and document setup. So if I go there and scale, yes, I was going to say one to 100. Though you can see you can change the scale for the document there as well. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.